What's going on guys? I'm your host with most of the wickedest joker in all the land, and today, today we are back with more Destiny. But before we get started, go ahead and ninja the crap out of that like button. You already know that your support is appreciated. So, Game Informer dropped a new teaser for their Rise of Iron coverage. It seems like there's only a couple of things guaranteed when it comes to Destiny. An explosion of Weasel error codes after an update, and the newest release being covered by Game Informer. So, what are they covering? I mean, well, take a look at this cover. I mean, look at that cover, I mean, fuck. I would say that, you know, this time around, the uh, the Iron Lord armor for the Warlock, yeah, they win. They definitely win. Yeah, I mean, whew. I'm hyped to go back to Skyrim in the HD version, but, uh, uh, well, Skyrim Destiny ain't. You know? You know what I'm saying? Titans, come on. Like... Like, I wanted Titans to have, like, metal plating and fur and chain mail. I just, I essentially wanted the Titans to have the Warlock armor. Oh, man, this looks so cool. Uh, but yeah, that's not what we're here to talk about. I just wanted to wax poetically about this cover because fuck, but that's not what we're here about. We're here about the trailer. So let's, let's dive into it. So we're not going to be covering the whole trailer. We're just going to be covering the interesting little tidbits from the trailer. Uh, first things first. Anyone notice that uh, this drop-in that this warlock is doing, this this majestic warlock, he's just dropping in, he's dropping into the game world, he's teleporting in from his ship. Anyone notice that that is from the E3 trailer, like the OG E3 trailer? Like, anyone? Like, here's a side-by-side. -side. Anybody else notice that? I did, but that's not important, so moving forward. A couple more seconds in, and we get this. So, I'm not sure if this is the Plague Lands, or like a Prison of Elders. It looks PoE, however... It's not any room that we currently have, so maybe they're adding new rooms. I don't think that's the case. Uh, I think this is the Plague Lands, and I think this is a public event, because obviously we have the public event notice right here. So, this is something called Survive the Archon's Forge. That's actually the mission. Now, this could just be speculation on my part. This could just be a new room to Prisoner of Elders. I mean, they could expand it. Who fucking knows? Variks gets up to some weird shit in his prison. I mean, he's getting taken. He's takeifying the prison. He's he's just, he's stupid, okay? Like, Variks isn't the smartest person around. He just, he takes things, and he puts them in prisons. And I don't know why we haven't fought uh, Siva before, if they've always kind of been around in the Plague Lands. I mean, you think Varric's getting up to his taking things? Maybe I guess he hasn't taken any, uh, taking, taken the taken, taken the taken, taken from Earth? Who knows? Anyways, so I'm guessing this is the new Rise of Iron Court of Oryx. Um, you know, that looks like a boss, this looks like a boss kind of mission. So that's what I'm guessing. I'm gonna say that this is the year three Court of Oryx. And look at that minty clean kebab stop scope. Just just kind of take that in. Just take in the fact that it doesn't have cracks. I actually kind of like the cracks. I thought it gave it personality, but whatever. Moving forward. And by moving forward, I mean moving forward literally two seconds. And in two seconds, we see two guardians die. And as they die, we see them drop two very large engrams. Now, don't get too excited, PvP players. Unfortunately, Guardians won't be dropping engrams on death. Or, fuck it, maybe they will. What the fuck do I know? This is just a speculation video. Maybe, maybe engrams will now litter the field where your fallen foes have died like a tombstone erected to their failure. Or maybe, just maybe this is tied to a game mode called Supremacy. And if Rift is one bomb assault from Halo, then I'm gonna go ahead and guess that Supremacy is an actual CTF mode. But, again, fuck it, what do I know? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, players will now drop engrams on death. Who knows? Who fucking knows? I'm gonna go with CTF, though, being more likely. But players dropping engrams would be kinda cool. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be really cool. Last but not least, we have this warlock walking along the battlements of Felwinter's Peak and... suddenly puppies. Hmm. I wonder if there's any interaction with these puppies, like any interaction at all, like press X to pet puppy on the top of their head, or press X to make the puppy do a trick, like rolling over or playing dead. That's probably giving Bungie way too much credit. I mean, fuck, for all I know, when this comes out, when Rise of Iron is released to the general public, 
the puppies will be gone. Hell, half of this shit could be gone. Remember last time? Remember the last time Game Informer did a game preview? No Time to Explain was yellow and did arc damage. And whatever happened to Fire Lord? Like, what's that about? And Void Lord? Like, yo dog, I heard you have exotics that you didn't release, Bungie. So, take all of this with a grain of salt. A huge, heaping, iron banner size grain of salt. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, and like always, stay frosty.